Okay, um, how you going everyone? Um, my name's Peter. Um, I'm a African cichlid uh, breeder uh, slash enthusiast and also a cherry shrimp breeder. Um, this is a part one video of many to come. Um, pretty much what's inspired me to do this video is just due to the lack of and more there of the expensive rocks such as these that you can buy at a pet shop or aquarium shop. Um, mainly due to the cost of them I've decided to take it upon myself to get some advice off some cichlid breeders and um, do some of my own uh, creations. Um, I've noticed a lot of other people um, out there probably are not aware of just how simple it is to do this. Um, so what I've got here is some limestone rocks I've got from my local beach. I live in the Perth Coogee area. Uh, these rocks are pretty much plentiful. You can get them just most of your coastline along the Perth coast, you can get a lot of these rocks plentiful. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, this was a solid rock, to give you an example. Uh, it's obviously not anymore. Um, to give you more of a horizontal view, down low, it's got multiple cave entrances. Sorry about the noise. Um, so you can see that there's multiple entrances um, and caves in this rock. Um, being an African cichlid um, breeder and enthusiast, as a lot of African cichlid breeders would know, um, they like caves, rocks, and sort of hollows, anywhere that they can have their own privacy at certain points and have their own sort of territory. Um, so basically what I've done here is, this is for my flameback colony. I have a colony of the uh, flameback uh, cichlid. Um, basically this is going to go into my colony for those guys um, so that way it breaks up a lot of the aggression a lot of aggression people aren't aware of being new to the cichlid um, aquarium sort of uh, hobby don't realize that African cichlids do require their own uh, sort of area which can be broken up using caves and such like you can do with this rock um, that'll save a lot of uh, problems in your fish tank if you put these in with African cichlids um, I was only at a pet shop probably a week ago and saw a rock half this size and it was a fake rock made out of plastic uh, for $40. Uh, this took me an hour and a half and all I used was some tools over here. Basically a hammer, a chisel, a disposable wood chisel that you're not going to really take much care of. One that you're not really, it's you know, it's not one of your prized chisels because it is going to get damaged. Uh, a screwdriver. Uh, preferably one that's got a metal capped end because you're going to be smacking it. The other screwdrivers commonly just have a plastic end without the metal cap. Uh, this screw screwdriver is ideal. It's a disposable one because I've got multiple um, and it works just fine for the job. You're going to need a masonry drill bit. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with your masonry drill bits. And you're going to need some disposable wood metal spade bits. These are going to get blunt real quick. Um, and also a hammer. With those tools and this rock, I've achieved this in a matter of an hour and a half, which would cost you, on average, probably anywhere from $80 to $100 to, to get this rock. And that's probably a fake version of this rock. You can see that this rock has multiple hiding spots for your cichlids. At the very base of the rock, it has a cave central entrance with three entrances. This is mainly going to be utilised for my male flameback. Will probably dominate this area here when it gets put into the tank, and the females will utilise these other holes here um, for when they need to be separated for breeding and such. Um, so basically, uh, this is pretty much it for the part one of many videos to come on creating your own uh, environments and habitats for breeding purposes uh, for your African cichlids. Um, so stay tuned for more. If you've got any questions, feel free to uh, post any comments or replies to my uh, YouTube account. And uh, I'll be prompting you more answers and uh, more designs from there. I've got some other designs of some limestone rocks in my other aquariums, which I'm breeding some venustas and some, for example, blueberries. I've got some blueberry cichlids. Um, and so I've got a lot of these sort of designed rocks, which are similar to your, like your Flintstone sort of houses. Um, which they seem to be uh, liking a lot. So more, more to come and more examples to come. Thanks for watching.